heading over the spot. Got myself rigged up with plastic worm, wacky style. You can see that there. A little yum dinger, octopus hook, wacky it right through the side. Actually, I'll show you. Octopus hook, wacky style rig. I had it all set up. I'm gonna head over to one of my favorite areas. Do a little bass fishing here on a nice little teeny tiny lake. But there's a lot of bass. We're in central Wisconsin, but we could be upper peninsula Michigan, northern Minnesota. Pretty much anywhere you got small lakes, lots of bass, not a lot of fishing pressure. Most of the fishing pressure a lake like this gets is from People pan fishing. People going after little ones, they accidentally catch a bass. But nobody realizes the potential that these lakes have. I'd say the average in here is about two or three pounds. Caught some fives. Caught a bunch of little dinks too, but there's some big bass. Let's we'll see what we can do. Okay, well, the sun's gone down. Not gone down, but it's getting darker. I'm going to switch rods up here while I move. Locations. <clears throat> Try the pink man action. Let's see if we can get. catching bass pretty good all weekend and I get the video camera out here where are the bass they're uh, taking a little break now the only thing that I found is as you can see I'm going I don't know slow to medium I mean I could really get her going like that but um, we're not speed drilling here. And if I wanted to get a rod holder, I could. And if you're on somebody's water where you can troll two lines, I mean, you could have two rods trolling. You can be double line in it. But uh, what I was going to say is, I'm moving, I'm moving a good speed. But the nice thing is I can do that. If I want to switch, grab something over here, get something ready. If I had the rod holder, like I said, pop that in there. I can be rigging my next setup while I'm moving and fishing all at the same time. It's a nice setup. Uh, it's got the foot pedals. It's got the little uh, panels underneath. Underneath or in the back? Right, in, right underneath. So they stick down about a foot and they just go like that. Works out really cool. Yeah, oh, it's, uh, that's the amazing part. <laughs> the guy said it's about, it's twice as efficient as the paddle. Because you've got twice the surface area. As a regular paddle? Yeah, well, as a regular kayak. Really? Yeah. So it's the it's the Hobies. It's a Hobie, H O B I E. Yep. Ooh. There we go. I was worried. That, I was worried I might not catch one tonight. There we go. Let's see if we can get them up here. Take a look. There we go. Not bad. Nice little, you know, pound and a half, two pounder. Get that hook just in the sweet spot there. Right. All right, well, you see, got some nice fishing going out here. Got the Hobie kayak. Got the paddle, foot pedal power. I should say, foot pedal power. Doing a great job out here on the little teeny lake, catching some nice, nice largemouth bass out here. Good fishing, 
and you're able to access a water body like this. This water body has a uh, no motor policy. You are not allowed to fish this body of water with a motor. So, canoes, rowboats, kayaks, it's the only way you can get a get a fish on a body of water like this. And these are virtually untapped resources. Tons of fish. I mean, this is one of the smaller ones I've caught all weekend. Just happens to be one of the only ones I caught while the camera was rolling. So that's why I'm showing it off to you here. I'm going to let this guy go. Alright, well, that was a really nice bass. Had a lot of fun. Uh, kept, caught a lot of bass like that in that, you know, 14 to 18 inch range. Two to four pounds is about the average on a lake like this. But then we got a duck flying overhead. That's uh, that's the great thing about fishing in a kayak, is you can access waters that you can't get to. This is a, a lake that has a restriction against motorboats, and so you can't get out of here unless you have a canoe, rowboat, or a kayak. But the great thing about having this kayak is I'm able to access bodies of water that a lot of anglers can't access or won't access. They won't take the time to go in a body of water that they can't use their big motor on. And uh, it's a shame for them, but it's great for people who want to catch a lot of fish. I've had a blast here today catching two, three, four, five pounder uh, largemouth bass. And this is just one of thousands of lakes across at least the upper Midwest that are an untapped resource. People talk about the big bodies of water. People talk about going out and, and fishing the big reservoirs, the big river systems, the big lakes. Those are great bodies of water. You're going to catch a lot of fish out there. But you're going to catch a lot of fish on a lake like this where I can throw a lure and with the fishing pressure that this little lake gets, it's property owners that live on the lake. But most of them are people just out with live bait rigs, fishing just the weed lines, fishing for panfish. I can come out here, plastic worm, crankbait, I can catch a ton of largemouth bass in that two to five pound range. And I've done that here, done that in northern Minnesota, I've done that in the upper peninsula of Michigan. And it's a blast. And you can't access it in the big boats. It's been a fantastic outing. Caught a lot of fish on the, the Hobie kayak here. Like I said, we've got pedal power, got the paddle back up, room for six rods. You can sit here and cast both hands, control everything with your feet. So I encourage you to go into your local Hobie dealership. I happen to be going with the guys at, oops, I want that rod over here. I got three rod holders, three rod holders. This slips in, goes back there like that. It's everything you could possibly need. Not a problem. So I'd like to encourage everybody to, to check out your local Hobie dealership. I got mine from uh, the Hobie the dealership in, uh, in White Bear Lake, High Tempo. I uh, talked to Brad over there and he got me all set up with this kayak demo took it out in the water and man I'm impressed had a great time caught a lot of fish I'm gonna head on home here if you can as you can tell not working too hard moving pretty good clip talked with a lot of people around the lake tonight who asked questions wanted to know what are you fishing from how does that work you go really fast and it doesn't seem like you're working too hard. It's the awesome thing about it. So, you can head on home, keep in touch, keep coming back, checking out the video links. Uh, go to rightoutdoors.com in the meantime and go get them.